surprise and it's good to see the Cobra back in the ring here at UWC. I've watched this young man from Amir uh, Stripling and he's definitely bigger, stronger, more experienced and he is not one to back down from the challenge. Formerly known as the man without fear, now the Mai Tai warrior, the Cobra and of course the warden and his twisted psyche takes a right hand and delivers one and it's a slugfest now in the ring and there's those talented feet and whoa going right for the headlock gonna try to stop it right now is the warden yep oh and the ropes coming off Superlock. and the cobra is down first time of this match tips himself up and oh, no 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 and the warden Steps out. I have seen this man, the Cobra, do some amazing things in this in these wrestling rings across the Midwest. He has been off wowing crowds in other parts of the Midwest for a while, but he's back in the ring now trying to get that online championship, and he's gonna bring the back in from the outside and meet him with a right hook and a second and a chop and down goes the warden a quick cover just a two now the announcement wasn't made as to who the opponent was until cobra came to the ring so really warden has had no oh, look at this nice fireman's carry Cobra trying to kick out, and he does. Just belts him right across the mush. Now a chop, and a standing drop kick. And the Warden is down and floundering a bit on the canvas. Uh, Cobra setting something up in the corner, the Mai Tai Warrior. Now circling his man. Those kicks can decimate a man, and again, it's just a solid boot. And another one, ooh, a big bridge back. And getting himself right back up is the Warden. And boot, down goes the Warden that time. And to cover one. And pushing his way out with a Cobra. He is a flyer. That second rope. What? Taken out by the warden. A little bit too much play to the crowd that time and landing on the back of his head. 
is the Cobra, the Warden. Now going to take advantage of this and a knee to the back. And another knee to the back. Cobra trying to push him away. And Warden's not going to go for that. Once he finds something, he finds a weakness, he's going to hang on to it. All right hand. Oh, punch to the lower gut. And blocked that time, but goes to the face and nails one. And the Warden's in charge right now in the corner. Whips him to the bar. Oh, it's hard. And Cobra is down. See right behind uh, referee Mr. Rife that bow stick, if you will, of the Warden, which has gotten him a championship. The online championship for the UWC, which is what the Cobra's trying to get to right now. The Warden peels off part of his covering. Now, again, whips Cobra into that corner and his back. Definitely hurting at this point. We've seen some already in just our second match, some hard, hard landings on the turnbuckles in this UWC ring. Going right back to him slowly, methodically now is the Warden. He's gonna whip him again. He is reaching for something. And instead, nope, just powers a right hand to the mush as Cobra tried to reverse things out. And pushes him again, gonna whip him again into that corner. Nope, up and over goes Cobra. Off the ropes, missing that time. Second rope, cross body block. And Two and no. That's how fast that man can explode. Off the ropes again. That time he just ran into a double axe handle. All the momentum supplying the blow that time. Look at this. Going for the eyes of the Cobra. Have you seen those eyes as he comes to the ring? You know how focused he is on his opponent. A knee to that back. And again, that's going to be a problem for Cobra. Cobra certainly a lot, a lot more, I would say, ring wise than when I first saw him several years ago. He's been in the ring with the strong, with the fast. Not a whole lot's going to surprise him. But I don't know if he's been in someone with as twisted as Warden before. A couple of elbows to the midsection. Cobra, again, goes to that right hand. Snapmare, no. no Try to go into the ropes. Oh, a little matrix action that time off the ropes. Catches him with a sort of a leg lariat. And now Cobra is going to crawl over for the cover. One. And he makes it to the ropes. I gotta tell you, Cobra's pulling out all the stops, but the Warden has been a half step ahead. Not a full step, but a half step. Remember, the Warden just has to survive to keep his title. Part of the Warden's mask is gone. He's losing his parts of his mask as he goes. Now, oh, Fireman's Carry. Standing. And Cobra fights his way back out of it again, and a double chop that time sends the Warden down, but he goes right back to the corner. Cobra looking for some crowd support and some extra momentum as he heads into the corner. And lands that foot. Warden rolling into him and spinning round kick. Warden is down and maybe out. Here we go. One, two. Oh, and he kicked out. Ah, that was... That spinning round kick landed square, folks. And now it's Cobra. He's got a lot more weapons in his arsenal, but... It's very tough when you've got a masked man in the ring to read his expression. You can read his body language, but he can also play some possum. I don't think... Got the warden is playing possum here. He's literally running to a buzzsaw. Now Cobra spinning. Back kick to the midsection. Oh, brings him up and over. And there that fireman's carry. Look out. Oh, plow 
pulls him right down. Cover. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Now that, that ladies and gentlemen is an impressive win. The Warden finally got him up and uh, wow. I'll add, that's all I can say, folks. The Cobra put up quite a fight and had the Warden reeling, and out of nowhere, the Warden put down the finishing blow. The Warden is still your UWC champion. We've still got a lot to go here on UWC Natural Selection.